Welcome back everyone to Lore of the Shadow where I have arrived in the North Downs at Estildeen and I have found Darabun. The question is why did he send a message to Rivendell and what can we do about it? Hello. What do you need? Welcome Pine Lore. Did Aragorn not come with you? Alas, but that is fell news. Well, there is not to be done now. You'll have to do. Are you prepared for a long, dark journey? It is through Ram Duath into Agmar that I must send you. Uh, that doesn't sound like a very fun place to be. But then, I came here to look for the Lore of the Shadow, and... What could be more Lore of the Shadow than Agmar itself? So... Greetings. Perhaps I should start from the beginning. Many years ago, one of our captains, a man by the name of Goladir, desired to enter into the realm of Angmar, for he had heard rumor that the descendants of the ancient hillmen of Rudaur had made for themselves a home there and began again to multiply. He suspected also that a shadow had come again unto Karn Doom, for fell creatures began to spread southward into the North Downs. Aragorn forbade any of us to go there, for that land still had an ill name, though it had been barren for hundreds of years. Nevertheless, Goladir gathered those who would go with him and passed out of memory, until a few weeks ago. A wounded falcon arrived bearing a message from Kornir, one of Goladir's company, stating that he had been dwelling in a place called Alkhere, a village of the hillmen somewhere near the Ram Duath. Will you go there and speak with Kornir? The urgency of this message makes me fear what has come to pass. I deem we have not yet seen the darkest times. Oh, wonderful. Well, definitely lore of the shadow. Well, to Angmar then. I have arrived at Akhare, and hello there. I was wondering if you could tell me where I could find Coronir. Come hither, Saffron. I would speak with you. I do not know you, stranger, and it is my femme, my tribal duty, to know all those who come to these lands. If you come here in friendship and are strong in body and spirit, you have nothing to fear. Present yourself to our chieftain, Cranog, and he will find a femme for you to perform. If you are weak and dull-minded, there is no place for you here. Travel south into the lands of the soft, or go north and find some place to die. Cranog's ruling seat is here in Okhere, west of the settlement's central island. I withhold my greeting until you have been accepted by Cronog and have a femme of your own to perform. What have I got myself into? I suppose that this is Cronog, as the chieftain here. Hello, sir. Greetings, Saffron. You have come to Achare, but you are not one of us. You are of the hobbit kind. If you wish to be counted friend of the Trev Galorg, you must undertake a tribal duty, a femme. I may have such a task for you. Well, I... Glad it was convenient. I would speak with you, Southron. All who call themselves the Trev Galorg must have a purpose. That purpose is their femme. If you have no femme, then you are no Trev Galorg and no friend to us. Prove yourself worthy to being called a friend of the Trev Galorg of Hachare. I will give you such a fem if you do all that I ask of you. It is the place of a chieftain to direct his people to do great things, even in the face of danger. And many dangers are arrayed against Hachare. Torquil, Wrythe, and Osbile will tell you of some of these. You will lay them in facing these evils, and you will return to me when your first challenge is met. If you are to prove yourself to me, you must prove yourself first to my people. Well, I guess that's fair enough. 
Oh. I really wish I had thought of this quest coming up when I came all the way to Angmar. Let's see. What maybe I'll do is I'll do the first round of quests, and after I do that, I will head over to pick up the Loremaster quest line, and then we'll have everything all ready. Right? The threat of the Iron Crown grows daily. Matrev Duverdine pressed us every opportunity, Pine Lore. We must oppose them with all of our strength, but still, Cranach insists on caution. <laughs> caution! The Trev Duderdine serves the commanders of Dangmar now, and they carry their tokens. In return for their bondage, the Trev Duverdine have been given the fortress city of Tor Galvin. We must take these tokens from them and show them that the Trev Galorg will not stand for such betrayal. The fortress of Tor Galvin stands to the northeast of Akhare. Travel there and wrest these skull amulets and bloodstone pendants from the traitors who now live in that place. Return to me with these tokens, and I'll tell Kronog of your efforts on behalf of the Trev Galorg. So I need six skull amulets and four bloodstone pendants. Gotcha. Now, so what do we got now? Ah! And here is Torquil. It has been long since we have known peace. My brothers were great warriors, and they gained much honor in battle against the Trev Duverdine and the Orcs of Angmar. All spoke highly of them, and both women and men called them mighty. I hope you mean the heroes who battled against the Orcs. Yes, yes, of course. But even the mightiest man can be felled by a single arrow loosed from hiding. And so it was with my brothers. Orcs beset them by the cave of Morfiel, and they were defeated. I have petitioned Cranog for vengeance, and now he seems fit to unleash you upon the orcs in my stead. I hope that you are worthy, for if your strength is found lacking, it will go poorly for you. The entrance to Morfiel is, is in Fasach Loran, east of Ochere. Defeat orcs in and around that cave and make them pay for the deaths of my brothers. Alright, fine. I will kill warriors, skirmishers, and a captain at Moorfield. Well, that's two of them. And what does she want? It has been long since we have known peace. Our chieftain is testing you, Sothron. If you are stout of heart, you will prove yourself worthy. If you're not, I do not lie when I say what coming here will be your greatest mistake. Some days past, I was surprised by a pair of orgs amongst the foothills north of Akhare. They are vicious, dangerous creatures, and my escape was made more difficult by my refusal to lead the pair by straight, straight past the settlement, but this would not do. But I am fleet of foot, and I know the lands hereabouts, and I made it back safely, if winded. But the wargs are newly arrived to Fossac Claran, and it will not be long before they make it here. Defeat these dangerous creatures. You will find them not only in Fossac Claran, but also within the fortress of Tor Gavain, northeast of Alcare. Whether they guard the Trev Duvedine there or serve as jailers, I don't know, but I know they must be defeated. Either way, if you do this, I will tell Cranach of your victory. Fine, I need to defeat wargs. Okay, Doki. Now, why did I come here in the first place? Oh, yes, yeah, something about a ranger. Let's see. Or actually, I think. Not over there. Oops, I think I took the wet path. The path of water. Ah. I 
think with the number of times that I have done this quest, <laughs> I would be able to find the right exit. <sighs> ah, I think I finally found the right tent. Ah, here he is. Hello. What do you need? Who are you? Oh, it matters not. All that matters is that you have come. Matters are grave, and we have need of any assistance that we can muster. These good people are beset on all sides by the tyrants of Angmar, who now gather a mighty army to march south and crush the elves of Gondor between the Hammer and the Anvil of Mordor. Time grows short, and we must act quickly if we are to hinder the shadow of Angmar. Well, I'm here to study the lore of the shadow, so I suppose studying the shadow is what I'm going to be doing. Perhaps I should tell you somewhat of our long story. When we first came into Akhire, the hillmen were suspicious of this, but not overly hostile. Goladir quickly earned their respect, for he was a great captain amongst us and was able to inspire the heart. In other words, he found a femme. We learn uh, that the hillmen were under the oppression of a remnant of Angmar that had returned to Karn Doom o from over the Misty Mountains. But worse, a sorcerer much likened to the Witch King of old had also come to the evil city. The hillmen called the sorcerer the False King, for they knew well that the Witch King himself could never return to Angmar. Goladir determined that the steward of Angmar had to be stopped before he could gather strength in the north. He gathered together as many of the hillmen as would follow him and journeyed east with the rest of our companions, believing that Angmar was not yet strong enough to withstand a united front. I was left behind to take word to Stilton on the event that the expedition failed, which it did. Do you wish to hear more? I suppose so. What do you need? So, you would know now the tragedy that has come to be? In truth, I know not. I do not know whether it was through some machination of the false king, or whether it was purely any evil chance, but our march was brought to an abrupt end. As we marched east, we found ourselves confronted by a veil filled with terrible statues. Rama's Deluan, the hillmen called it. That some spirit of evil vigilance abode in the stones, there was no doubt, but we could all feel the oppression in them. It was here that Goladir bade me remain. As the host passed through the stones, it became clear why the hillmen feared the valley so. When the last few men crossed the Ramas Duelan, the watching stones threw forth a terrible malaise of oppression, such as such that th those men caught within it were stricken dead by the weight of it upon their hearts. I tried to pass the stones, but could not. Goladir bid that I remain, so I did. Days turned to months, then years, and still Goladir did not return. I knew I should have returned at once to Estildin, but I could not abandon my captain. I trained vainly to cross the Ramas Dwellan until my very spirit was broken within me. At last I sent the message to Estildin which brought you hither. We must learn the secret of the Ramas um, Deluan Pine Lore. Perhaps one of the many lesser stones which litter this land, especially near the camps of the Angram and Hillmen, will reveal that secret. Go to one of these lesser watching stones and take a rubbing of the ruin, runes found upon the base. Beware the fell and deadly stones for they have too terrible a power. Ooh. Too terrible a power. Oh, we are going to have some nasty stuff. Before I head into Agmar proper, I am going to first go and visit the Lore Master trainers to find out what they need me to do. 
It's been so long since I have done this quest that I have completely forgotten that it starts here in Ithilien. For some reason, I had thought it was somewhere completely different. Maybe in Gondaman or someplace like that. Well, whatever's the case, here is EZD. How can I be of service? I am pleased to meet you at last, Pine Lore. The years may be long, but they're full of joy for those who are seek learning. The passing of the seasons cannot blunt the sharp mind eager for wisdom. All right. Will you lend me your ear? I wonder at your garb, Pine Lore. Why have you not sought to fashion articles appropriate for your calling that reflect your desire to study? Gladly will I help you with this, if you wish it. Wait, what's wrong with my articles of clothing? Oh, but I give you words of caution, for such articles will not come easily. Their tale would be the one of hardship and sorrow, but its end would be worth of triumph and victory. Do not despair. For though the road be hard, a lore master knows its ends is sweet. Speak to me when you're ready, and I will tell you of what awaits you beyond the dark corners down your road. Plenty of dark corners. See, I'm studying lore of the shadows, so I'm seeing dark corners all over the place. Stay a minute. I can fashion you a piece of equipment that will reflect the depths of your knowledge, Pine Lore, and aid you in the further pursuit of wisdom. However, I will need you to obtain the components I will need if I am to make this equipment for you. Oh, don't quail from the danger, for you are a learned lore master and have all come through all hazards to reach this point. You are wise enough to survive your coming trials. The first items that you'll need are the matted fur of the great boar Grimgor, who rose Fasach Loran in Angmar. Well, it's a good thing I came here first before heading out to Fasach Loran then, alright, fine. And the emblem of the Corkert tr tribe of Hillmen encamped near Heligrod in the Misty Mount. Heligrod. Wonderful. Simply wonderful. All right, and it looks like in return, we're eventually going to get either a trinket of mystery or a ring of mystery. Ooh, so mysterious. And what else do we need? Will you lend me your ear? I can make you a weapon befitting the wisdom of an accomplished lore master such as yourself. I surely need not tell you that the road to this completion will not be easy. For you're wise enough to know that that's the case. However, I must ask you to bring me the components, of course. First, you'll need the staves of the Corker, who were recamped near Heligrod in the Misty Mountains, and the rending claw of the great bear Driftclaw, who roams the land of the giants in the Misty Mountains. Looks like I've got a lot going on the Misty Mountains on this, plus one bit in Angmar. And I thought I was done with the Misty Mountains. Obviously, I was wrong on that score. Driftclaw's Rending Tooth. Now, how is this staff, anyway? Alright, either the Staff of Knowledge, 90... Oh, my goodness gracious, that is... Oh, but it looks like my current staff is... better from the point of view of stats... But well, the new one is better from the point of view of damage. I know with the way I whack things with my staff, I'm wondering which one would be better. Now, as for the sword... Hmm. Let's see... 68 fate, 34 will... Actually... Astrid, I've been looking for a good lore master's sword, so I will take the sword then. Now, of course, first I actually have to do the quest. And actually, this sword will also be handy, because at some point, I'm going to have to go and get my legendary item. Which is another little problem, is how I'm going to fit that into the storyline. Because, am I going to have to go through all of Volume 1 before I get my legendary item? Or am I going to just nip by in an episode or two, and grab a legendary item, and then come back here 
pretending that the dwarves are busy setting up shop in the at the beginning of Moria, so I can't actually go into Moria until after they finish setting up shop. I could use that as it. Then, then I come to Agmar. I really thought that wish that I had got the 45 before I had come up with all that rationale and all that stuff, but that's the way it is. Well, it looks like I have a little trip into the Misties so that I could do something for her. I do have to go into a back to Akira though because I do have to kill a certain boar there and we'll have to do that in the next episode of Lore of the Shadows.